Hey guys, welcome to a new video and I finally finished this project of converting this free flight airplane into an RC airplane. If you want to know how I did it, stay tuned. Okay, so let's begin with this project. Here is the airplane that you can buy on eBay, Amazon or a hobby store. Here are the electronics that we're going to use. Three micro servos, a very small receiver and a small battery. But I think we're going to use only two servos because of the weight. Then we have to measure dimensions and, you know, test the length of the, the servo cords and everything so we can plan whatever modifications we want to do to the airplane and then we have to plan where to cut the ailerons I'm going to cut the ailerons all along the wing and then I'm going to uh, put a servo on top so I can control the elevator we can also put the servo uh, in the tail but that's gonna make the tail heavier so I'm going to see what I will do with that later so then I have to take the weight, the default weight that comes with the airplane out. It's just a metal sphere that weighs about 12 grams. And you know, start like opening all the spaces for the electronics in the airplane. And here I'm measuring the weight uh, difference. So yes, then you have to make space for the electronics inside the fuselage of the airplane. I'm using the knife and also this tool that heats up and it's easier for me the soldering and then uh, you know just make space for the battery receiver and everything and then I'm going to put a servo on the bottom of the airplane measure the size of the of the servo arm so I can make sure where to put the servo and then um, you know that's to control the ailerons so I'm going to cut the ailerons because they are attached on the wing they they just have a little incision on the wing but it doesn't do anything so I have to cut them off so that's the only way to make them move freely so then I have to attach them with some tape and the tape must be put in small pieces only in three spots of the aileron to behave like hinges so then I mark the position of the servo to open a space for it and I'm using the knife for that. And then when I put the servo and I put the arm on top, I realized that the servo arm was too far away from the ailerons. So that's gonna make a bit of a problem. So I decided to swap the servo upside down. Um, for that I needed some space in between the wing and this little space where the wing goes in the fuselage so the servo arm can move. Then I power up the system to test the servo and with, with the arm and move it a little bit just to see how it works. And then you can see that the servo arm is moving freely without any problem, even with the wing on. So the next step is the elevator. We have to cut the elevator off of, the, of this stabilizer, just as the ailerons, and do the same thing. After that, I'm going to make the control horns out of some kind of plastic and I'm gonna cut it out out of this. And that's gonna make uh, the ailerons move because I'm going to attach this to the ailerons and elevator and anything that needs to be uh, a control surface. So I'm using CA to glue it to the foam and that's okay. And then I'm going to use some guitar string, a uh, metal guitar string to make some tension. This is going to act as a spring and it's gonna maintain tension on the aileron or the elevator, pushing it up or down, however you wanna set it up. And then I'm going to use a thread from the servo that is going to pull to the other side. So that's a system, it's very simple 
and that's gonna work okay. Then I place the servo on top. This is the one that is going to control the elevator. You have to power up the system so you can know where the central position of the servo is and then place the servo arm. So then take the thread, I'm using a normal thread, a very small and lightweight and this is going to make the job. And then I have to position the elevator on the center position and then make a knot on the thread so everything is balanced. Put some glue and then here is the system working. The servo just pulls the tension and fights the tension and then it makes the elevator work as expected. Now I found a problem with this system later on but for now let's go on and we have to make the servo arm larger because it have to reach the the ailerons on the wings so this servo arm is not long enough so we have to put these uh, extensions and we have to glue them very very well so nothing bad happens in mid-flight so here's the tension system that I'm using for the elevator and as you can see is uh, it's working okay but there is a problem the tension is so is so strong or well it's, it's enough to make the horizontal stabilizer bend to one side and that's not good and another idea was to use some uh, rubber band to make the tension but that's the rubber bands just get bad with time with the sun water and heat so I decided to use a pull pull system so what I did is make another control horn for the elevator on top so I'm going to use two strings instead of one and that's gonna make the uh, system more stable and easier and even lighter So then I'm testing the servo arm for the ailerons and then I'm putting the, the thread on the servo and on the elevator to test it. So you can see here that the system is working pretty well. So then I decided to change the tape of the ailerons because the one that I was using was like a normal transparent tape and uh, it wasn't too sticky so just to make sure I'm using masking tape because it's stronger for this region and then right here I'm opening the holes for the ailerons connections and then we have to make some some incisions on the ailerons to put the control horns and glue them in place So far so good, then we have to make some space in the fuselage for whenever we want to take the wings off, the control horns don't get to, don't get stick inside or that doesn't represent any problem when, you know, passing the wing through the fuselage. Then we have to put the guitar string on place. Then we're going to make a special shape so the, the push rod doesn't fall off of the aileron while flying. Alright, so here I'm putting the other way around because it was easier for me. But this one goes on the servo side and the other play up and the other part of the push rod goes on the aileron control horns. Don't forget to put the, the screws to hold everything in place and then we can test the ailerons. This shouldn't happen 
because they, you can see that the aileron is not aligned. But you can test it and you know set it up correctly so everything is aligned and everything is okay. Then we have to secure the, all the servos in place with some glue and some foam so there is no space for the servo to move and everything is securely put in place. After this we are almost ready, we have to make sure everything works okay, everything is glue, everything has the screw on. then put the electronics in place. I recommend to put them securely and then put the canopy on. And you can secure it with some tape or with an elastic band. And then there is an important step that you cannot skip is the balance of the airplane. The CG of the airplane should be, you know, in the 30% of the cord of the wing. And you can see here that I'm putting some foam on the tail and even these few grams or milligrams are affecting the balance of the airplane. And now our airplane is ready to go. We're ready to take it out to flight and to test it for the first time. I'm pretty sure that this airplane will fly a lot better doing slope soaring but I didn't have a slope close to my house, so I had to test it in the park. But next time I'll do that and I'll make a video about it. Thank you very much for watching this video, I have a lot of projects coming up, so if you subscribe you will be one of the first to see the videos. I also have a Patreon page, so if you have a spare couple of dollars to throw them in my project, I will really appreciate it. Thank you very much and see you in the next project.